So it looks like the secret space program is real. Why do I say this? Well, the US Navy has been granted a patent for an advanced aircraft, which, funnily enough, resembles a UFO. The military inventors filed plans for a highly unusual machine, which uses an inertial mass reduction device to travel at extreme speeds. Further, they claim that the craft would move through with great ease through the air, space, and water mediums by being enclosed in a quantum vacuum plasma sheath. Well, we've seen UFOs before, we've seen USOs before. Maybe this was some of the things that have been seen. Well, the US Navy applied for the patent in 2016. It was granted in 2017 and has recently made its way onto Google Patents as US Patent US 101-44532-E2. So let's have a quick look at this patent, see what's actually in there, and discuss all the other possibilities that it raises. So here it is, here's the patent. Now it does go in slightly into how it works. What it basically says is you've got a cavity and some microwave emitters and the electrically charged outer resonant cavity wall and the electrically insulated inner cavity wall form a resonant cavity and the microwave emitters which run by the way at around 11 gigahertz create high frequency electromagnetic waves throughout the resonant cavity causing it to vibrate and create a localized polarized vacuum outside the resonant cavity wall now what this means they're not talking about a vacuum as you understand it, they're not talking about an air vacuum. What they're talking about is a quantum vacuum, an area in which particles are not created and destroyed as they are all around us and also inside us. What this does, really, it seems to be excluding the Higgs field, which is what gives particles inertial mass and gravitational mass. So this will reduce the actual inertia of the object and it will also reduce its mass. We're talking anti-gravity here. So here's page two of the patent. Now don't worry, I'm not going to sit here and read the whole thing to you. If you're interested, I know you're perfectly capable of going onto patents.google.com and looking at it yourself. All I'm going to do is pick up some highlights. So first of all, let's look at what is claimed. What is claimed is a craft of some sort using an inertial mass reduction device. It describes exactly how this works, that it uses microwaves, and there's some interesting subclaims. They're claiming also for a craft where the resonant cavity is filled with a noble gas such as xenon, helium, argon. The craft claim one where the outer resonant cavity wall is electrically charged. The craft to claim one where the resonant cavity is actually rotated in an accelerated mode. And what this is, is a classic spinning UFO that we've seen on countless videos and we've had described by countless witnesses. And there's also some interesting notes in the main body of the patent where it talks about artificially generated fields interacting strongly with the vacuum energy state. And this is what produces the quantum vacuum. And I'm going to say that really what this is, is excluding the Higgs field because it's Higgs fields that actually create mass in both gravitational and inertial terms. So what does this mean? It means if you can reduce the amount of inertia, then you've automatically reduced the amount of fuel taken to propel the craft to practically nothing. You can make it stop on a dime. You can make it do the ridiculous 90 degree turns, which have been described many, many times. And you can also overcome the force of gravity and possibly even use the field as a form of propulsion. Next page. Now, there's a very, very important thing here, and they're talking about generating energy using this quantum vacuum. Moreover, the coupling of hyperfrequency gyrational and hyperfrequency vibrational electrodynamics is conducive to a possible physical breakthrough in the utilization of the quantum fluctuations vacuum plasma field as an energy source or sink. The quantum vacuum plasma is the electric glue of our plasma universe. It is important to note that in regions where the fields are strongest, the more potent are the reactions with the quantum vacuum plasma 
therefore the higher the induced energy of the particles that spring into existence. These quantum vacuum plasma particles may augment the obtained energy levels of the system in the energy flux amplification may be induced. Ladies and gentlemen, in this US patent that was placed into the patent office by the government, we have a patent on energy direct from the quantum vacuum, free energy. Let that sink in for a moment. On page 4, the science is discussed further, which I won't really bore you with, except to point out one paragraph. If we can engineer the structure of the local quantum vacuum state, we can engineer the fabric of our reality at the most fundamental level, thus affecting physical systems, inertial and gravitational properties. This realisation would greatly advance the fields of aerospace propulsion and power generation. There they are again, rubbing in power generation. In the paragraph above that, it also mentions that because you're manipulating local space, then extreme speeds can be achieved. Now, are we talking about FTL? Don't know, but it does seem rather likely. Now, the next couple of pages are of little interest to anyone except physicists. Um, but by all means, you can freeze frame the video and read these. On the last page, however, there is a very, very interesting thing. And here it says, in operation, the craft may be powered to move in different directions by causing different sections of the resonant cavity shroud to vibrate. For instance, to move up with the top portion and top trailing edge position of the resonant cavity shroud is vibrated, thereby causing the polarised vacuum field to move the craft upwards. And there we have it. This is how you would use it as a propulsion system and probably an extremely fast propulsion system as well. So are all the UFOs we've been seeing actually US government devices? I don't know, but it's highly possible it would seem. And furthermore, it would seem that they now have something even better. Why do I say this? Well, you can guarantee that whenever the military makes anything public, it's around about 25 to 30 years, maybe even 40 years out of date. So this is what they're patenting and they're admitting to now exactly what do they really have at this moment in time. I would be very, very interested, as I'm sure you would, to find that out. So if you've liked this video, please like, share and subscribe it and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. It's time. It's time to believe now. It's time to believe. It's time to believe now. It's time. To Some type of mind control must be used to believe.